Hi, so Christina again here from Be Earthy. I'll give you a backyard tour. Haven't done this in a minute. Everything looks huge. It's amazing. I love it. Love my backyard garden. So, we'll start off here. It's a little chamomile, some more comfrey, which should go out front. Got all my aloe. I can't stop these from growing unless I pull out the root. This artichoke is one of the four that I had, but if you see down here, I have multiple artichokes growing underneath here. It just keeps going. I just, it's crazy. This little cute guy right here, I have all this white mildewy stuff on all my squash, but that is a spaghetti squash. I'm gonna do you and I'm having them go up this little thing. I have another volunteer of mallow and another couple wild lettuces that I just let grow. Here's another one. They're really good for pain. You use the sap for pain. I have these little things growing everywhere. I think, I think it's really morning glories and I don't want morning glory, glories growing in my garden. So then I have these square like zucchinis, this one and that one and that one over there. This girl right here, that's my lemon verbena. She is yummy. And tea, that is so good. If you don't like the flavor of one of the herbs, it's really bitter or something like that, lemon verbena is really good. These are just regular squashes like this. Um, no, that's going to be the round squash. I had round squash last year. These are the summer squashes. You can see I have a bunch of those. I've harvested quite a bit off of these. <clears throat> so there's this little zucchini guy right there. It's a tomato. These tomatoes over here don't look like they're doing very good. Maybe this one's getting a little crowded by the cucumbers. It's always funny with cucumbers because you'll be looking at them and you're like, oh, that'll be ready in a couple days. And then all of a sudden, oh, where did that come from? So that's that. This thing, which Jeff made me and I had it on the other wall last year, did not do well. The top row seems to get too much sun, so stuff hasn't really grown there. But again, more wild lettuce just randomly growing. And then I have, this is cardinal basil. I love basil, look at this. Cardinal basil, I've already topped them. And then that's regular basil, which something's eating, which is not cool. Not cool at all. Look at you right there. There you are. It's a little tiny worm. Huh. Make sure we get that guy. Make sure there's no more. This is sorrel. Oh, I don't know if you've ever tried sorrel, but it's, it's odd. So when you eat it, it doesn't have much flavor, but then all of a sudden, BAM! You get this real acidic flavor. Kind of lemony, I guess. Yeah. But it's so good, and it's just such a surprise when you eat it. I put it in salads. It's just like all of a sudden you get this little burst of flavor. It's so fun. Those are pansies. Not doing so good. That looks like a tomato. Some dill. These are my peppers. So I have... Um, two kinds of peppers here. I have Lasia, which is supposed to be the sweetest pepper. Let's see if it's on here. Look at that logo. Look at those guys. And then I got habanada. So they shouldn't be hot peppers. So, so yeah, little peppers. They like to be close together, so I put them all close together. So my strawberries. I got lots of strawberries going on out front out here. More mint. I like to keep mint out here because I have an issue with rodents, which I probably should move the mint over there. This is a sweet potato. Don't think it's really doing much. And then I got more potatoes that popped up. Some garlic in the middle down here. Um, those. This is okra. First time ever trying to plant okra. And it looks like it's doing really good. I don't, I didn't think I liked okra until I had a Bloody Mary with a pickled okra in it. So I'm really excited to do some pickled okra, but you can see down in there, I've got some little baby ones going. So cute. 
this is my tomato plant. This is where I'm having a problem with rodents. I mean, that tomato did not have that blemish on it last night. Look, here's another one, another one. They're just eating my tomatoes. Look at this one, this is crazy. What is going on? I'm gonna have to pull all these tomatoes. I got another one over here that I saw. And I have to keep the bathroom window, that's the bathroom right there, window shut because rodents can get this high. So this one right here got eaten last night too. I saw that one in the bathroom. And then the beautiful, almighty cucumelons. They are my favorite. They have come back this year with a vengeance. There are so many. Right now I get about a handful a day. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have to start pickling them again instead of just eating them all. <laughs> but there's so many little guys. And it tends to blow this way. So the wind blows that direction and it normally is all over here. And so within a few months, this whole area right here will be full of them just trying to fly that way because of the wind. But this is my garden in the backyard and I love her. She is beautiful. So everybody be earthy. 